Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Andy Sirota. Daniela Guzman is off tonight. Suspected capital murderer Terry Rivera appeared before a judge this morning where he was given a $2 million bond. This in connection to the shooting death of 12 year old Carlos Fernandez. KPRC 2's Corley Peel joins us live outside the Harris County Jail with why Rivera won't automatically be considered for the death penalty. Corley. Keith and Andy, when we hear that someone has been arrested for capital murder, it's common to think that they'll automatically get the death penalty, but that's not always the case in Texas. And Carlos's age is a big reason for why Rivera is avoiding that lethal injection. With handcuffs wrapped around his wrist, Terry Brian Rivera faces a judge where he learns he dodged the death penalty in connection to Carlos Fernandez's murder. According to Texas legislature, anyone convicted of murdering a child 10 years old or younger gets the death penalty. Carlos Fernandez is 12 years old. If a child is between the ages 10 to 15 years old, murder suspects automatically become ineligible for the death penalty. We sat down with KPRC 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss. Can you explain why he would still be charged with capital murder even though he's ineligible for the death penalty? There is capital murder where death is a possible punishment and capital murder where the other possible punishment is life without parole. Since Rivera is avoiding the death penalty, prosecutors say he is required to have a bond, which the judge said at $2 million. If he were able to make his bond, and to be clear, nobody really thinks he's going to be able to make that bond, uh, we would come back before he was released and address any bond conditions, which we would obviously be asking for house arrest, ankle monitor, all the strictest conditions we could have on a case like this. Rivera was captured at the U.S.-Mexico border near Brownsville on Monday, one week after investigators say he took off after shooting and killing Carlos in his family's apartment. This video shows Rivera hobbling into the Harris County Jail with deputies by his side on Tuesday. What's the strongest punishment he could face? The only punishment that he faces upon conviction is life without parole. Carlos's family members tell me they are relieved that he was finally captured and they're hoping that he will stay in jail. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you what ultimately led to his arrest. Reporting live from downtown, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.